guys, so today I'm going to be doing somewhat of an eating show for you guys. You guys know I like get on camera and I eat a meal with you guys, and I'm really excited to be doing that. Um, I'm waiting for the food at the moment, um, but before, I want to give a disclaimer that this is going to be talking a lot about mental health, my mental struggles, my struggles with online how online has kind of affected me and like the way I think about things um and also just kind of things that I've been thinking about you know I've gone through a depression this past year I've gone through a lot of anxiety since coming home from a tv show I recently did and I'm gonna be discussing a lot of that stuff so if any of that is uh triggering just be warned um also, I am sponsored this video by BetterHelp. It is a website that offers counseling. It's affordable counseling. It's personalized co counseling. It's confidential counseling that you can do online. I am someone who really needs counseling and therapy and someone to talk to, but I don't necessarily always feel motivated to go in, nor do I always feel comfortable. So I think this is a really great option. If you are interested, I will link it below. Um, definitely check it out. It deals with all types of things. Like I said, depression, anxiety, if you have something with eating, just anything, there's a topic that is affecting you. They have counseling and counselors that already talk to you and you have access to them whenever. It's kind of great. It's kind of, it's great for flexibility and also just scheduling. Um, so huge shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring this. I personally looked into it and I just thought it was a really great idea. You know, so many of you guys struggle as well. I get emails all the time and I never really know right the answers to give you guys and a lot of times you guys are either embarrassed or you don't want to go talk to someone and I relate to that 100% or maybe you don't feel like maybe your problems are that big or that major that you need to talk to someone but honestly just talking to someone in a non-biased party it totally helps so um, I definitely encourage you guys to check out that link for affordable therapy and something that's convenient to your schedule um, definitely check out BetterHelp and once again thanks BetterHelp for sponsoring um, this video so we're gonna do an eating show like I said we're gonna get kind of deep um, but, you know, we'll kind of just catch up with each other and catch up with my personal mental health where I'm at now and uh, other things I kind of wanted to talk about. So, um, anyways, grab some food and let's start eating. So, the food is here. Um, so, I ordered breakfast. I got, I'm so hungry, I cannot be hungrier. <laughs> I got bacon. Bacon from this place is so good. Mmm. Egg bacon half brown. Wow, these pancakes are so good. Fluffy pancakes. Do they not give me any utensils? I'm not supposed to eat this. Hold. Okay. You guys, I just need to get into this bacon real quick. Mm. So good. Mmm. I do love eating. So. I want to talk about a few things, updates on my mental health, my personal. I am happier than I've been all year. I am happier than I've been all year. Um, I'm in such a good place with myself. That's the biggest thing. I think I'm in a good place with myself. I was really confused on where I was going and what I was doing. I found I found motivation by just taking on new things, new friends, new hobbies, new work things. And I'm just so busy and so focused on everything like that that I don't have time to dwell. I think when you sit at home and isolate yourself, this may seem very like well done trash to a lot of people, but when you sit at home and isolate you think you're doing a good thing by not bringing other people down. But the thing is, is when you force yourself out of the house, like, I mean, I was forcing myself out. Now I love going out, but I was forcing myself out of the house. I never regretted it once I got out. I wasn't like, oh, this is not fun. I was always having fun. So, now when people ask me to hang out, it's not like, 
I should force myself to hang out with people. Like, I love doing it. And when you are busy and doing stuff that's fulfilling to you, for me, I was kind of in a rut. As much as I love YouTube, I kind of was like, I'm doing the same thing. YouTube obviously was changing so much. So it gave me a good kick in the butt to change my life, my lifestyle, my work. I'm really happy I did, to be honest. We're gonna talk about the show I did and my thoughts on it. Because I went out last night with two people from that show. And it kind of gave me this perspective on it. I'm gonna share it with you guys. But before we do, oh, look at this eggs, bacon, mm, hash browns. Breakfast food is always so good. Mmm. Here's a funny, not funny. I don't think a lot of people realize look, what fat shaming feels like. When you call someone fat, or the person's actually overweight, or someone like my sister who's not fat at all but gets called fat. When you eat food, I'm gonna just go with my experience. Because so many people love to call me fat and gross and tell me on a daily basis that I need gastric bypass surgery and like all this like really intense stuff. Every time I sit down to eat, whether it's something healthy or not, I'm gonna show you the difference. So right now, right, I would consider an egg sandwich as a salad, no, but I consider it relatively, relatively healthy. You know, I got some eggs, some protein, some bacon. It's not like, it's a normal breakfast. Like people would eat eggs and bacon. I did get this over a medium, so it might be a little hard to eat. Bacon. It's gonna be messy, y'all. Get ready. With each bite you take, you are constantly thinking, I shouldn't be eating this. If I was out in public, I would look around and be like, who's watching me eat this? I take another bite. What are they thinking? And when do you fat shame someone? Every time that person eats, they think about, I shouldn't be eating this. I'm just getting fatter by eating food that my body needs. And the thing with food on overweight people, every person I should say, you need food to survive. So, I see someone sober and they're drinking alcohol and you're like, oh man, they shouldn't be drinking that. It is in a sense shaming, but you don't need alcohol to survive. With food, you need to survive. Even when eating a salad, I feel the same way. I feel like, no, let's pretend this is a salad. A sash brown. If I was eating a salad, I would eat it and be, I bet this person across from me I think I'm just eating a salad just to like trick them into thinking I eat healthy. 
even if I generally wanted a salad. I bet people are thinking, well, if she's eating a salad, why is she so big? Every time you fat shame someone, you are giving them a complex, whether they're overweight or not. And every time I eat, I have to eat the limb. I'm constantly thinking about what people are gonna say about what I'm eating, why I'm eating it. If I have, if I get sick, which I don't get sick that often, thankfully, if I get sick, people will be like, "Because mm, you're eating eggs, because you're eating bacon, because you're eating animal products, because you're." But at the end of the day, y'all are only seeing a small portion of what I eat. You go out to a restaurant, because I see this happen all the time in public, you're only seeing a small portion of what they eat. Maybe it's their cheat day, maybe it's their birthday. Maybe they are, maybe it's the first day of their diet and that's why they're eating salad. Like it doesn't, you just don't know people's story, but to be like, to comment on someone's eating habits or their weight, every time they take a bite, they're gonna feel bad about themselves. And I know that from first name experience for the past literally like 15 years of my life, I'm constantly thinking, what are people going to think of me? What are they thinking of me? And it just really sucks. And I feel like if people haven't been fat shamed or, you know, food shamed, my biggest pet peeve is being like when people are like, oh, you're still hungry or didn't we just eat? It's like, well, everyone has different bodies and they adapt to certain things differently. I just, I hate that so much. <laughs> Not really though. Mm. I need to wipe my face off. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a messy eater. No shame in that. Clean myself up a little bit for you guys. Oh my God. I love egg yolk. I wish I could get them over easy. It's just so hard to eat it. Mmm. Mmm, these pancakes. <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you what it feels like to be fat ashamed while eating something really bad for you. Syrup. <laughs> pancakes are like literally my favorite thing ever. Oh, do I need a knife? Probably. And this is something that I've actually been told while I was eating pancakes when I was 10 years old and I'll always remember. It's 10 years old eating pancakes. A family member's brother's wife said this to me. You're eating all those pancakes and no boys will like you. That was the first thing she said. One more. Shut this down. I'm truly disgusted watching your daughter eat those pancakes. And one more.
take a breath or it might be your last one if you keep eating like that. That was three bites of pancakes as a freaking nine, 10 year old. And it always sat with me. The person didn't know my, mental, my, my physical health, more on doctor, more on my doctor. Maybe I was on a really strict diet and I was like, okay, this is my time to eat. Maybe my sugar was low and I need some pancakes. You know what I mean? And I always think about that when I eat pancakes, even to this day. So aside from just online hate comments, that's a whole other thing. So last night I had some dinner with some people from a show I did. And I was thinking about it because I obviously left the show because my mental health was going crazy on that show. I always talked to a psychologist. I was talking to him probably. I was in the house for 12 days. I probably talked to him 75% of the time. I'd go upstairs and I'd have like a full mental break because I wasn't used to being around people. I felt like people didn't like me. I was constantly putting up for nominations. And you know, when I look back at it, which is great to self reflect, when I look back at it, I, you know, it wasn't as bad as I'm, I remember it being. You know, I remember the night I left, the girl I saw last night, I remember her being by the stairs asking me to, you know, stay and everything. And when I was talking to them, it's like there was so much love in that house. The few people that made it bad for me made my whole experience bad. And I think that's like a lesson in life. Don't let a few bad people spoil your overall experience. Which Isla happened to me and I regret it. But now that I can self-reflect, look at it. I'm in such a better place and I'm able to fully move on. And be stronger because of it. The point of all this is I feel like I knew you guys have been giving me this advice for a long time and I feel like it's something that you just have to put into practice. Be happy with yourself first. And everything else will fall into place. Now if people talk some bad stuff about me online or criticize me or critique me for the things that make me happy and that I want to do and that I'm happy doing. That's on them and their life and what they want to spend their time doing. I'm too busy being with amazing people in my life that I've been so blessed with that I'm finally like seeing how great people are in my life. Um, everything else just kind of doesn't matter. Same thing with eating. You know, I used to like be so focused on eating and it's like now it's like I eat when I'm hungry. It's not something that comforts me anymore. It's just something that like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to order some food and not really think about it. This is a special occasion, occasion for you guys. And then on the flip side of that, be kind to people. You don't know their struggle. You don't know what they're facing. What goes through my head sometimes when I eat, when I share with you guys, that has gone through my head when I eat with the whole fat shaming. It can go through anyone's head. Thin, obese, healthy and it can cause disorders it's more than just mental it can be caused but i am so full oh, with love <laughs> and with food thank you guys for watching um i hope that updates helped my personal advice helped and maybe hearing what it feels like on the other end of calling someone fat or commenting on someone's food or how much they eat can really cause and affect them. And it'll stick with them for life. I was nine years old and it still sticks with me. So be kind, love each other, love yourselves. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Um, thumbs up if you guys like the eating shows. I want to do a sushi one. That's been highly requested.
it's coming. I'm just not having more kissies. We're gonna love baby fishies. Bye guys.